Miss Marvel Episode 1. Let's talk about it. Spoilers. Duh. I have very low expectations going into this show. Because Miss Marvel in the comics, Kamala Khan, is not really a character I'm the biggest fan of. Like, she does nothing for me. Uh, in the Avengers game, I thought she was really annoying. So, looking at this series, I was just like, just please be good. Whoever, rooting for the actress, especially uh, Iman Balani, I think that's how you say her name. Could be wrong. But knowing that she's like a comic book fan, she's a nerd like us, man. It's just like, hey, I'm rooting for you. I'm hoping that this will be good. And I was pleasantly surprised. Aside from the glorification of Captain Marvel, which bugs me because I hate Captain Marvel's character and not just in the MCU even in the comics like once Carol became Captain Marvel I felt like all I'm, I don't want to go into rant but I'm not the biggest fan of Captain Marvel so just Captain Marvel everywhere is just uh, uh, but it's part of the character so I just gotta look past that and once I did look past that I really found myself enjoying it it's definitely one of those like teenage uh, shows that you would see on Disney Channel it, it's that for a good chunk of that until she actually gets, you know, her powers awakened. But even leading up to that, I found the character, the performance to be rather charming, rather likable, much more likable than I found her to be in the game or even in the comics. Um, and I think, I think I'm gonna like the character. I think, I think I'm gonna like the show. I do love the fact that the reason, like everyone knows the details of what happened in the end game battles, cause Scott Lang has a podcast and just told everyone about it. That's absolutely hilarious to me so this is one scene where you know she goes to this avengers con type thing where it's you know a celebration of all the superheroes and they have a tribute of black widow and iron man i saw that and i was like all right cool but then i realized and i hate to admit this because i hated wandavision but wanda was right there is no tribute for vision like come on now what is it because he's a robot you guys don't you know, celebrate him, like, like, what's going on here? Also, because I'm not a fan of the character, I'm not bothered by her not having her stretchy powers. In fact, I much prefer the way they look here with the, you know, crystallized energy, cosmic, you know, Captain Marvel, whatever. I like that a lot more. From the trailers, I believe she's she'll still be able to, like, stretch, you know, that energy out, like, you know, she has big hands or whatever. So it will still probably keep the essence of the character. But again, I'm not a fan, so... I don't know. I do hope, though, that they keep her in human, you know, uh, background and her, her being in human. I think that's probably more important than just having the stretchy powers in general, um, especially after seeing Doctor Strange Multiverse Madness. I mean, come on, dude. Like, I want to see more in humans, actually, now. Considering the humans are, like, Kree experiments, I think we'll probably go that way, especially further into the Marvels. But anyway, solid episode. I'm looking forward to seeing more.